Greetings, everybody. This is my pre-Christmas, for me, celebration message. And why I say for me is because we've been programmed to be offended by just about everything. I mean, when I heard they're, t they're banning, baby, it's cold outside, from the radios, I realize, you know, it's a, it's a slippery slope to total Orwellian mind control on this planet. So, because I don't uh, allow that into my life, um, sorry about the, hold on, ah, glare. Uh, I do celebrate Christmas. I love Christmas. And one of the reasons is because my mom, who passed away almost 20 years ago, adored Christmas. And she lived in America and I lived in Italy and we managed to always be together on Christmas. And when she died, I stopped celebrating anything. I was in such gloom. And as a tribute to her after two years and uh, two Christmas later, I said, okay, it's time to get the tree back out for mom. And I so I had this amazing little magical thing happen that I wanted to share. And that is, um, I dreamt that my mom said, Merry Christmas, honey. And she giggled. And I woke up, that was two days ago. I woke up in the morning and I was like, okay, come on, get up, get, get this tree up. And because I don't have family now, that you know, there's no presents under the tree. How sad is that? So I got to go out and buy myself some presents because my family's too far away to think of me that way. Oh, boo-hoo. <laughs> anyway, so I'm off to get myself some presents. But before I do, I want to just tell you that um, when I got out the ornaments in the box of the Christmas tree and the box of ornaments, whatever. And I'm putting on the ornaments and lo and behold, I find an envelope in the ornament box. And I open up this envelope and in it are some very crisp bills that can only be explained as magic because who the hell ever loses like over a hundred dollars worth of cash in a box of tree ornaments? Yeah, I don't know about it. So I have cash to go spend for Christmas and I'm kind of sure it's from my mom. And so, you know, I just thought I'd share that with you because it's kind of magic. It makes me happy. And so to you this pre-Christmas day, these pre-Christmas days, I want to say that no matter what you celebrate, you know, religion, tradition, all of these things are in the end very isolating and separatist and I, I just can't stand any of it. And you know, I, I mean, last year I did a video and somebody said, is that a Christmas tree in the background? I was like, yeah, kind of like my pizza with cheese. You damn straight, it's a Christmas tree. That's what I celebrate. It brings me joy, it brings me peace, it brings light, it brings color, it brings celebration festivity. And if you don't celebrate it, get off my back for celebrating it. And whatever you do celebrate, have a wonderful it. And let's just think about instead of all the differences that we have and all the different, the, these ridiculous separations that we've been, that are being more and more inculcated in our minds. Uh, I'm supposed to hate you because you celebrate Hanukkah instead of Christmas. <laughs> How ridiculous is that? Oh, for God's sakes, or any other of the myriad traditions. So mine is Christmas, and I love it, and it doesn't necessarily have to be absolutely imbued with religious overtones. It's just wonderful. It's a time of peace and celebration and joy. And, you know, if you don't watch out, I may just come on here and do some Christmas caroling. Love you guys. Thank you for being part of my virtual world. And, you know, please send me some virtual Christmas presents and I'll put a little marker under the tree. <laughs> Love you. I'm off to go Christmas shopping for me with my weird money that I don't know how it got there. And to meet with some friends and uh, to have a glorious day. 
in the sun because we've had just the worst weather for a week now. All right. Love you. Bye, guys. Love you. Merry Christmas.